Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has declared a state of emergency for several counties across the state, including Lake, Sumter and Marion. New 6's Tori Campbell is in Lake County with preparations for the storm. Starting tomorrow morning, this area will open up to the public as a sandbag location in Lake County. Officials here, as well as officials in Sumter and Marion counties say, with a tropical storm watch in effect, they're watching Elsa's path closely. And I think our primary threat right now is going to be the rainfall and flash flooding. Lake County Public Safety Director Thomas Carpenter saying people in the county need to prepare now ahead of Elsa's expected impact. Make sure that they've got that uh, disaster supply kit, the food, the water uh, that they need and uh, understanding their communications plan. On Monday, Scott Kaufman was stocking up on supplies at a Lake County Ace Hardware. We got a ton of batteries, we got a lot of flashlights and I checked to make sure they're working. Tropical storm Elsa making its way through Cuba on Monday, already claiming several lives in its path. As of now, Lake Marion and Sumter counties say no shelters are scheduled to open, but are on standby if Elsa's track changes. Over in Marion County, officials say Elsa will be most felt in the western part of the county, with plans to open their citizens information line Tuesday morning. And we've already had some rain, so the potential for trees to fall over is very likely, and that's going to cause power outages. News 6 caught up with Ocala resident Ben Gleetman at Lowe's. He says he wants to be extra prepared. I went to uh, the store and I bought enough water for two weeks uh, for my house and uh, some dry kitchen basic staples. And tomorrow morning, officials in Sumter County say the commission will meet to vote on an emergency declaration. As of now, there are no sandbag locations there. This location is just one of seven in Lake County. We have the full list up on our website at clickorlando.com. In Lake County, Troy Campbell, Getting Results, News 6.